Hi guys, so a couple of days ago I decided it was time to do a little bit of hacking on my nails and I thought I would do kind of a little bit of a FAQ on how exactly I trim down my nails when I want to take off a significant amount of length. Most of the time all I'm doing in between manicures is what they refer to as maintenance filing but every now and then I decide to take off several millimeters and really give them a chop and this is one of those times and it was brought on by a couple things one is that I have uh, several tears that have grown out to the point where I'm not wanting to patch them anymore I can cut off where the break is and still have a decent amount of length and the other part is that both of my index fingers have quite a curve to them right now. And honestly, I don't know why some nails curve and other nails stay straight. I don't know of any foolproof guaranteed way to fix them. I have my own theory as to why it happens. Um, sometimes it almost seems to me that one side of the nail grows faster than the other side and as that faster growing side kind of pulls on the slower growing side it creates the curve or the uh, twist in the nail so if I keep up with my maintenance filing and I try to keep that faster growing side down to the same level as the slower growing side that seems to help uh, just taking good care of your nail seems to help since the curve that I used to have in my middle finger is much less obvious than it used to be but the long and short of it is sometimes it's not very noticeable sometimes it's horribly noticeable sometimes it's in the middle and for the most part I've learned to deal with it but other times it can be very very frustrating and if you want to see some additional examples I would say to head over to my blog and I'll put a link in the information box that will bring up my naked nails posts and you can just see over the course of my blog um, you know the different ways my nails have looked when they're very curved or when there's not much curve at all and part of it has to do with the length of the nail and part of it just has to do with what that nail feels like doing and a couple people have suggested to me recently just you know just file it till it looks straight and the problem with that is if you file it so it looks straight one way it's gonna end up looking goofy from a different angle and I did just a little bit of a close-up video to better illustrate that point and I'll insert that here so just a quick close-up to give you guys a little better idea you can see that from straight on the curve is kind of slightly noticeable but if as I turn to the side like that it becomes more noticeable but if I turn to the other side it actually becomes less noticeable so it all really depends on what angle you're looking at it from how obvious the curve is if I give you kind of a front on view there you can see it almost is like a little bit warped and that uh, front side is just pulling down and creating the curve so yeah so as you can see it really depends on how exactly you're looking at that nail how good or bad the curve appears and you know like I said if you try to file it to look nice one way it's gonna look weird another way and it's going to weaken the nail and I know from experience that when my nail is curving it's more likely to get a break anyway so I don't want to make it any weaker than it already is so uh, before I get started I've got to take off currently on my nails I have Zoya Roxy Give you guys a little bit of a closer look at that and uh, once I have that all removed I'm going to also soak off my patches and then I will switch to a little bit more close-up camera angle on my nails and we'll continue all right so I've now soaked off Zoya Roxy and I've also soaked off all of my patches 
And if you're kind of noticing that my ring and pinky on both hands are slightly more stained than the other nails, that's actually a result of patches too. These nails had patches on when I was wearing my Kiwi Water Marble, and these nails were not. And you can see the resulting stain from the green polish. So in addition to helping out with tears and breaks, patching can also help with staining. So I'm, I'm not really sure what to show here. This is kind of a video that I never thought I would do because trimming your nails is really pretty basic. I prefer using the larger um, straight across toenail clipper for my fingernails because it's a little more powerful and because I do cut my nails straight across. Generally in between manicures I just do a little bit of maintenance filing with a glass nail file and maintenance filing is basically just filing to keep your nails at basically the same length just keeping them even and getting rid of any snags. So before you actually cut your nails, I recommend, you know, soaking them in water or maybe doing it right after you take a bath or shower. And that just helps to make the nails a little bit softer and a little easier to cut. And I'm basically just going to cut them. I mean, I get a lot of questions on it, but there's really not much more to it. Um, if you can, I would recommend to do it in just one snip, but the majority of my nails are too curved to fit inside the nail clipper. And you can see that the uh, pieces of nail are kind of flying all over the place here. I really could have soaked my nails a little bit longer to get them a little softer so that they weren't um, quite so hard. But it doesn't have to be perfect when you trim them. You can see a couple of these did turn out a little bit uneven. In that case, I might take the clipper and take off just a little bit more. But generally, I'll just decide how much I want to take off, trim it, and then with the file, I'll go ahead and even them out. And this is a very awkward... Um, angle for filing so I'm just going to kind of give you guys an example I just go straight across the edge so that I have a flat edge and if you have very weak nails you may want to go only in one direction because if you do go back and forth it can put some pressure on the nail but if you feel like you have strong enough nails you can certainly go back and forth uh, the benefit of a glass file over just a normal file is that they seem to leave a, a kind of a cleaner edge. You don't end up with little tears or snags from a really rough coarse uh, like an emery board. And if there are less of those little snags, then that's less places to get caught and less places for water to get under there and uh, cause more splits. So once I have it even on the edge, I'll usually just take and round off the corners a little bit so that they're not like totally sharp. And that's really it. Like I said, this is a little bit of an awkward angle, so I'm not actually going to file all of my nails on camera. You know, I usually will sit back in my chair and make myself comfortable when I'm going to be filing. So. I'm going to finish that off and trim the nails on my other hand so that they are an even length with my left hand and then I will come back and show you guys the finished results. Okay, so here we are all filed even and the corners rounded off just a little bit. I also went ahead and did my cuticles and did some cuticle oil and lotion. And of course, if you would like to see my full uh, nail maintenance routine, you can check out that video in the tips and tricks playlist. Um, now, like I said, one of the main reasons for cutting them down was to make the curve in my index nails less noticeable. And I think you can see that they are both looking pretty straight right now. 
The other reason was to minimize the number of patches I had, but I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here so that you can see I do still have a pretty low break on my index finger right here. In fact, I don't know if you guys can maybe see if I move it a little bit there. And that's really too low to cut down. It would be painful even if I wanted my nails that short. So I will still be sporting a patch on that nail. And while I'm close up here, I thought I'd also point out that you can actually see at the cuticle how quickly that stain from that green polish is growing out. Um, it also gets gradually fainter as I go along and, you know, each time I use a polish remover or buff a little bit of it away. But you can see that it's grown out to about here and that was, I'm going to guess, maybe about a month ago that I had that green polish on. So, you know, I've mentioned before in comments, staining really doesn't hurt your nails. It might look ugly if you don't have polish on, but it's nothing that won't go away given time. And if you always have nail polish on, why worry about it anyway? So if you have any other questions on cutting or filing your nails, of course, feel free to leave down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.